Okay, so what you guys want to do to upload your Penny Labyrinth.stls to uh, the Cube Pro software is you'll need to plug in the pen drive that is the Cube Pro pen drive and the other pen drive that we have your .stl file saved to. When you plug in pen drive, sometimes this comes up. You don't want to scan and fix because that could potentially erase everything that's on the pen drive. So you'll either just close it out or click continue without scanning. And uh, we don't need to have this window open, so we can just close that one as well. Just close all those windows. Double click on the Cube Pro desktop icon. And then this window will pop open. Now, it is possible that before you print, you may have to change the material type or the material what bay it's in. So let's just go through that first. There's three bays on the Cube Pro, and in order to change what type of filament is in the Cube Pro, you go to the Settings tab, Printer Configuration, and then uh, in this window, we're not printing nylon, so we'll uncheck nylon. And right now we have PLA Blue in Print Jet 3, so next to Print Jet 3, I'll click PLA Blue. Okay, and then uh, I'll click OK. Go back to the Home tab. Okay, so now what I got to do is open Model, and I'll have to go to the computer and select the correct pen drive. I don't know which one's which, so you know it's probably this one's the one that has the .stls on it. Go to Period Two, Spring 16 CAD, and then uh, what we'll do is we'll just double click on one of your .stls and it will import and then uh, go to open model again and double click on the other one to import now you guys see this blue boundary that popped up here that means that the part is outside of the printable area for printjet 3 so what we'll have to do is move this part so that it's not outside that boundary so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select move model and I'm just going to drag the parts so that they are one above the other. And it doesn't really matter if you have them lined up perfect here like I do. I just, you know, do it that way. Then to uh, get rid of the move model, you just click it again and that will deselect it. And uh, next thing you're going to want to do is hold down on the left mouse button and rotate it forward. And you're going to want to make sure that the pathways are facing up and not down. If you have them facing down then uh, it's going to have to bridge that uh, pathway. So we want to make sure that our pathways are both facing up. Okay, um, then the next thing we're going to do is go up to build and we will go ahead and we'll set it on the 300. We'll go to print strength hollow and uh, print pattern cross no support material and we'll turn on our sidewalk material and we'll put it at PLA blue and then you hit build and now we have to save our cube profile our build file to the cube pro pen drive so you'll have to select the one that's the cube pro pen drive and you'll notice the cube pro pen drive because you'll see all these cube profiles and then uh, you can just put your last name CL and uh, click save and when you print on the cube pro your cube profiles have to be on the first folder they can't be inside of a folder on the cube pro pen drive if they're inside of a folder on the cube pro pen drive then the cube pro won't be able to find it and uh, estimated build time uh, two and a half hours uh, do I want to replace the model file with the generated build file I'm just gonna click no and then I'm done okay it's it's that simple alright so uh, what we'll do then is we can just close the uh, uh, software and we'll pull out the pen drive and head on over to the